and we are going to move on to the New York Jets, who have not made as many moves as I was expecting. Uh, kind of an interesting situation with the Jets. They need a help in a lot of places. They definitely have some additions. They have a Jared Davis, who who I love. Jared Davis from the Lions uh, was the 19th you say, pick. Huh? Say Gerard. Is it Gerard? I say Gerard. People are different. It's okay. Okay. I'm not going to bust your balls on that. Yeah. No. Okay. G- Gerard Davis. Where are we yeah. go. Uh, Gerard Davis. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to keep that in. That's fine. Uh, Gerard Davis, linebacker from the Lions, has had has dealt with a ton of injury issues, but he, I, I think, is a great player. I loved him coming out of Miami. Uh, when he is on the field, he pops, but injuries have just destroyed his career so far. So, signs kind of a team-friendly deal with the with the Jets, and, I mean, we'll see what happens. I think that's that could be a big signing. That could be one of the signs that, that people look at as like, oh, man, that was a big addition. Corey Davis. Davis coming from the Titans, getting getting a payday. Um, I I think Corey Davis was like tier two of the wide receiver class. Uh, you know, I think I, I don't know. Was Corey Davis better than Juju in your opinion? Like no, no, he's he's not. Um, uh, yeah, they're I, different I value, guys. I they're different. Juju, style, yeah, I value Juju more than that. Corey Davis has a lot of potential going mm-hmm. forward, but you know, this past year with the Titans was really the first year that we actually saw it. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of hit hit, and that's being the number two with the AJ Brown being at the one. Yeah. Now the Jets for me. Getting a Carl Lawson, I think, is really important to help at that defensive line. You have Quinn yeah. and Williams, who really came on strong last year. Mm-hmm. Carl Lawson doing good. You have a C.J. Mosley returning. Marcus yeah. May is coming back, too. Add that with Gerard Davis helping out that linebacker core. Listen, I like a lot of these moves. They still have the money to flirt around, though, and really land that one. Because they have Jameson Crowder at yeah. receiver, too. So Jameson Crowder, Corey Davis, let's see a Galladay. Really? So you're saying you're saying go I, grab another one? I want a Galladay, and I want Zach Wilson at number two. And I really think that you could start yeah. to listen. Makai Becton is a hit at tackle. Yeah, yeah they so crushed you, it. you have the tackle checked. You would have an up and coming defensive line. You have a solid linebacker core. You desperately need help at cor- uh, at defensive back. Yeah, primarily your cornerback position because Marcus May is a, yeah. a good uh, safety. So yes, there's still areas you can shore up, but there is that some is hope. That is a you, you talk about just a a a core of a team and they look there's a reason it says dealer's choice under there under draft needs there's a lot of help that of they course. can use but i mean you talk about i mean a a Corey davis a a jameson crowder and a galladay at wide receiver with zach wilson who i think is going to be an absolute stud coming in to throw the football i mean they're going to be a fun football team to watch and that defense may not be complete but you got some good pieces no they, they really do um Listen, let's go back six months and look at the Jets' future Mm -hmm. and how just abysmal and sad it was. I think that they have done well with what they have. Robert Sala is a guy who is known for building a locker room and chemistry, too, so Mm -hmm. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt with that and these moves Mm -hmm. in hoping that they gel together. So why not? Yeah, look, I I absolutely agree. I get it. I mean, is there anywhere else you want to go with that? What do you want to see him do in the first round? Because we're going we're gonna to assume Zach Wilson, we both agree, should go number two for yeah. the Jets. They have two first-round picks. What should they do with the second one? So I, I think defensive line would be the move. And, and look, that's that's a that's a spot where I think you could get a, a Jalen Phillips. And, and that's the other Miami defensive. There's three Miami defensive ends that are probably going to get drafted. You got Gregory Russo is the big name. You got Quincy Roche, who, yeah. who uh, played on the other side this year. But but uh, you, go, you go watch Miami's film from this year, number 15, where the same number is Gregory Russo. When I was going back and watching the film on these guys, that messed me up big time because I was like, man, am I watching the wrong guy with Gregory Russo? Uh, but no, Jalen Phillips I think is the better player. He was like the number one pick uh, or the number one player out of high school. Had a ton of injuries. Had to retire from the game. Uh, came back and was just an absolute dominant threat. Injuries are going to be a concern. That's going to push him down the board I think a, bit, a good bit. I, I He might be a second round pick. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about him and I, I, I'm calling my shot though. I think he deserves to be a first round pick and, and I could see the, the Jets uh, targeting a guy like that. Maybe Maybe it is Russo because Russo has all of the physical tools. It's just putting it together. Like he's he's still, I think, a raw prospect, and I think that he could still be in that range as well. But man, I I, I like defensive line. I I, I would want to shore up the defense, especially if they grab another wide receiver in, in free agency. If not, you know, there's going to be some wide receivers there as well that you could grab as well in that in that range. Of course, of course, I get that. I'm led to go with the cornerback position. Okay, and there is one guy that stands out. Uh, in particular, because I'm assuming you know Farley and Sir Sertan would be gone by this time. Yeah. Uh, the next man up, and I think he is in the same caliber, but is not being brought up enough. Is J C Horn? Ooh, I think yeah. J C Horn is a f- is a fast, physical, mm-hmm. lockdown corner that mm-hmm. they could really use where they don't have a one that stepped up yet. I think mm-hmm. that is he is worthy of a shot at that. 
That's a, that's a good name, and that's probably even a more of a, a positional need. Uh, so I, I like that a whole lot. That's a that's a really good point. Yeah, look, the Jets. I mean, they're going to have a bounce back year, man. I, it's going to be fun. I think the Jets are. They could win seven games this year. They really could, and especially I if Zach Wilson's a, as good as I think. There's a lot of teams that are making that next step, though. It's yeah. The NFL is. It's kind of hard to spot that it really just, ugly team right that now. That churning, it always happens, man. Who, who's the, the ugliest team? Just a, a thirty-second qu- Lions. Lions are going to be go. picking number one overall. So the, I yeah, think. Yeah. There we go. Uh, the Lions, or I could see it falling apart for the, like uh, the Bears, maybe. I mean, yeah. I could see that happening. 